Okay, so this is a basic rundown on how my uh, Vortex works. I'll make a better video once I'm home. I'm in a hotel right now. But the tube is a fish tank that I found at uh, uh, PetSmart. It's like a top fin 360 view fish tank. It's like 30 bucks. Drilled a hole. And this is the top down view. There's a hole dead center where the water actually flows into. And these are 90 degree like quarter inch little pipe fittings. That'd be these. And they actually will flow with the direction of the water spinning down. The water drains out, falls into a, I have a five gallon bucket underneath it catching the water. And I have a, a submersible water pump inside of it. And uh, the inlet and then the outlet, I have it split with a three way, uh, uh, the little, they're air fittings. They're three way splitters for like air tools. They're like $7 at Home Depot or, or Lowe's or anything like that. They're in the air, air fitting section, but it's like seven bucks. That's $30 for the tank. And it's like a dollar something for the little 90 degree plastic valves and a couple bucks for a quarter inch uh, vinyl tubing. The pump, mine is like 60 gallons an hour, something like that, but I have a five-eighths hole here and you would just whatever pump size you can get you just vary the hole diameter you just start out small see if it overflows and then just keep bumping up the hole size until you get it to where it wants to sit about an inch from the top one thing will make a difference is the height from here to the pump height that makes it or I technically be here the, the, the lift height I found that out the first time making it, that the farther and farther these open apart, the harder and harder that pump has to push against gravity up. So, <clears throat> if you get everything set, like the, I, the one video is sitting on trash cans, and uh, I have a little grommet inside of it because my pump couldn't fill it up, as soon as I put it into my nightstand, I overflowed it in my house the first time I turned it on. And I popped it back out, did checking on it, and real kind of thought about it and he goes it has to lift the water three feet less now also the level here if it's not level on the table the vortex will start shifting off of the hole and won't drain as fast so you'll start if it's not like nice and level with a uh, torpedo it will drain different, which I had found that out too, pissing me off trying to set it. So it has to be level, the and you need to have it. You need to test it on the appropriate height here. And this, you can see it in the video I uploaded. That's not really needed, but since it was ne going next to my bed, it was water was free falling onto this right here, and it was making a lot of noise. So I made a water muffler. I put a two inch piece of tube in there and packed it full of drinking straws and submerged this into the water all the way down here. And what it did, all the hoses, the water drug on it just because of surface tension, it slowed the water down and to where it almost was silent of the free fall, all I could hear was a nice vortexy sound here which I, I can deal with it. Um, my pump has recently failed after four years of non-stop use because it evaporates rather quickly. It goes through about a gallon of water of probably every two weeks, three weeks. I have to add a gallon of water to it. I was just using tap water. I guess when you keep evaporating tap water out, evaporating tap water out, there's a lot of calcium in it, and it actually is, it looks like a, like the Dead Sea in there. It's just calcium crusted up and went into my pump system, wiped it out, and the tank is starting to get a buildu along the side, or build up on the side. So, I changed it 
afterwards I put uh, the cap on the five gallon bucket and fit everything in because it was just an open top. So I put a cap on here to try to keep the water down and then I drilled holes through the cap to let the, the lines through and to let the water or the, the two inch tube on the bottom come in and hopefully it'll keep the evaporation down to a minimum. I'll try to get a better video up once I'm home and whenever and actually show better than this crappy drawing and using my cell phone. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll try to get another one up.